I think the opportunity to travel and represent the New Zealand Parliament amongst other dignitaries is both a privilege and a learning exercise for a new member of Parliament like myself. People were always coming up to us trying to connect with us to get a sense of some of the issues impacting us as a nation, impacting us as a country as well because they always have a perspective from outside of New Zealand. It was great to be around a lot of other Pacific Island nations and really excited to hear from some of the powerful women and what they're doing in that space as well as from some of the climate change champions. I spoke specifically on the impacts of climate change, particularly about the impact on the Pacific Islands and here at home. And it was good to share those lived experiences with other countries, hear what they're doing and compare notes, I guess, with what Aotearoa is doing too. We're living in a climate changed world. So seeing how they're dealing with that from their political perspective and the social political circumstance that they are in was a really incredibly important insight. Peace was a big one for me, what was happening in the Ukraine and how do we build solidarity across our region. And we were able to talk to a lot of other of our counterparts throughout the forum. Really robust discussions right from women in parliament and government and decision making spaces. It was great to come from uh, Aotearoa New Zealand and be able to talk about how we are now 50% women in our Parliament. I met a number of people from across countries. I also met one of our Rainbow colleagues, one of the first trans uh, members of Parliament within the Philippines and got to share some of the experiences of the work that we've done here at home. You know we hear that saying think globally act locally but just as important to think globally and act regionally and that regional diplomacy is so important. You know these folks are our neighbours. Right, so what impacts them ultimately impacts us as well. And so to be able to actually have those one-on-one -on -one conversations with different parliamentarians across the Pacific and, and to sort of build those personal connections, um, you know, that's at the heart of uh, diplomacy, regional diplomacy, international diplomacy.